Simpson Strong Tie is proud to introduce version 3.2 of CFS Designer Framing Software. Version 3.2 has added several important enhancements. Let's take a look at some of the changes. CFS Designer version 3.2 has made changes to its design tool layout. The layout has been reorganized based on groups, including wall framing, joist framing, general framing, X braces, shear walls, and wind module. Under the wall framing group, we have wall stud, wall with opening, stacked walls, and knee wall modules. In the joist framing group, we have floor joists and rafters modules. In the general framing are the general interaction and beam input. In X braces, we have simple and stacked, and under shear walls, we also have simple and stacked. The last module is our wind module. Let's take a closer look at the modules that are new or updated, starting with a new wind module. The wind module will calculate wind loads based on user-specified code, wind data, building data, and enclosure classification input. The user also has the ability to customize reports with a custom report section. An easy-to-read output is also created by clicking the Summary Report button. Another new feature added is our wall stud module. The wall stud module has been separated from beam input to allow more customization for vertical stud framing. The beam input module will still be available in its original format. The wall stud module allows the user to enter a spacing. You can select NA or enter any spacing. If NA is selected, the user will enter loads in pounds per foot. If the user selects a spacing, then the user will enter a load in pounds per square foot. In the image, the load will be shown in pounds per foot based on the user entered spacing and load. In the wall stud module, the user can also enter a uniform gravity load in pounds per square foot or pounds per linear foot. This load represents the cladding weight. In addition to a uniform gravity load, the user can also add gravity point loads at any location along the span. The user will have the ability to add up to five gravity point loads on any wall stud. The summary report output for the wall stud module is also new. Output has been organized as a short report, but still provides all the necessary information in an easy to read format. In the connections tab in the wall stud, beam input, and wall with opening modules, we have added options for connecting to cold-formed steel base attachments, as well as an option to select a base clip. The wall with opening module allows for a built-up lay-in header. Simply select strong back lateral track and then select gravity member to be in weak axis and CFS designer will design a lay-in header for gravity and lateral loads. The wall with opening module has an on-screen connector summary report to help you more quickly view reactions and connections. The rafters module has a brand new interface designed to allow quicker member selections and better output reporting. The loads and load combinations tabs were modified to make input easier and to align better with other modules. Also, the output was modified to make it easier for the designer to review loads by adding the maximum and minimum reaction values for R1 and R2 connections. Stacked X braced and shear wall now have the ability to add multiple ties or hold downs at each connection. Also added is a connector summary, giving the user the ability to quickly view without opening the output. The stacked X braced module was also updated to allow for three stud and four stud configurations. Calculations are based on configuration to maximize the built-up capacity. We strive to make CFS Designer the best software in the industry and are always working to improve your design experience. If you have any comments or questions, please email us. We would love to hear your feedback at asksimpson at strongtie.com. Also, please feel free to visit our website at strongtie.com CFS to learn about Simpson Strong Tie Ready Products. Ready Products is our line of hand bendable track, hat, arch, and angle CFS members that simplify curved framing.